what's going on everybody happy new year's eve today is december the 31st and i'm actually recording this on december the 11th so i hope you're doing good uh it's new year's eve and new year's eve means awesomeness i guess i don't know today's video is all about level 777 in the back rooms hopefully you're ready for this one this is a really interesting level it kind of fits the new year's theme because it's a casino level anyways Let's get into the video. Since it's New Year's Eve, I thought I'd go over the closest backrooms level to a New Year's type theme, which is level 777, aka a game of chance. Let's get into it. Level 777 is classified as class undetermined and is pretty much a street that runs directly down the middle of the entire level. On each side of the street, there are casinos, obviously. The street itself is only about 14 kilometers long, and there are no alleyways or anything like that, so the casinos are literally directly touching each other. The casino buildings themselves are way bigger on the inside than they look on the outside. When you first get to the level, you'll be in a building called the Lobby, which is the smallest building on the level. It's kind of just like an entry point, and it's just an average size room. The lobby area has human-like workers that will help you with anything if you ask. There's also a meg base located here, but we'll talk about that later. This is the place where you'll enter the level from, or leave, as long as you don't have any debt. Once you get out of this lobby gateway area, you'll be in the street that I was talking about earlier. The casinos will be on your left and right, and all these casinos have pretty high stakes, except the further down the street you go, the higher the stakes will get. There are actually other people around here, except they're not really people, they're just husks, and they don't really do anything except gamble. Only a select few casinos actually stay on this level because most of them just disappear randomly, only to be replaced by another casino. Now this disappearing stuff can happen even if there's people inside of the buildings, and no one knows where they disappear to, so it's pretty safe to say to not go in the buildings that aren't permanent. The casinos here rarely use money to gamble. Instead, they use metaphysical things, like precious memories, lives, body parts, or entities' bodies. Cool. The casinos right outside from the lobby area are considered to be the safest ones to go to, because the beds here are made with food and water and other basic materials and, you know, not your life. There aren't many people or husks that even go into these entry ones because they're not high stakes. But like I said earlier, the further down the road you go, the higher the stakes get. Now I'm going to talk about the confirmed casino types on this level. First up is low-ranking casinos, which are obviously the ones I just talked about, where you can just gamble stuff for food and water. Then there's these Zatya slots. I don't know how you... That, that might be wrong. This is also a pretty low-risk casino, and the bets here are never made with anything except food and water. And this is the area where you'll get your skills built up. Then there's the Cheshire Casino, which is kind of like a middle-of-the-road casino. People that go here are better than the average gambler, and this area specializes in slot machines. Up next is the middle-ranking casinos, which is a step above the low-ranking ones, and this is the start of the higher-stakes betting. And you gotta be pretty good at gambling to get into these. The tier above that is the Insanity Classics Casino, which is the first casino that you'll go to with stakes that are past materials like food and water. The stakes here are small body parts and stuff like that. Next up is Merlin's Beard Casino, which is the highest ranking casino in the middle class. Full bodies of entities are used as gambling pieces here, and if you don't pay up your debts, you'll be forced to be a servant. And once you're a servant, you can't leave the level. Nice. Now the next three are the same levels, they're called the Big Three, and that's literally their names. They're a step above the Merlin's Beard, and they pretty much just gamble high stakes things. Then there is the Celebrity Showdown Casino, which is the second highest ranking casino in the level. It's full of the most popular people in this level, that's why it's called Celebrity Casino. And Eternal Public Humiliation is the price of losing, or even the loss of entire limbs. Okay. Lastly is the Morgana Casinos. These are where the reality bending starts, and you can trade memories and stuff like that. The minimum bet here is your most prized memory or your life itself, so it's not amateur hour here. And this casino is run by the Morgana Council, which is made up of seven entities who are all extremely powerful because they can bend reality to whatever they want. Kind of like the Game Master in a way. They're held in high esteem by everyone in the level, and all seven have vastly different personalities. Their names are Naffle Max, Stretch Zimmels, Edgar, Rezpaw, Bree Nimelier, the Vice President, and then the President. All of these people have descriptions on the wiki dot, but, but it's not really important to the level explanation, but 
if you want to see them, I'll flash them up on the screen now. So if you want to read them, you can just pause and read them. There are just two normal outposts here. One is called the Gamblers, a creative name there, which is made up of about 200 real people or wanderers, and they pretty much just gamble, and they also never leave the level. So there's also a Meg base here, like I mentioned earlier, which is a very small base inside of the lobby area, and they're pretty much just here to warn wanderers about the level's workings and how high risk it is here and stuff like that. As far as entering this level, the wiki dot says only one with a will to gamble for the sake of gambling can make it here. Kind of vague, but kind of cool too. To leave, you can just go back through the door of the lobby area where you came in, and this will take you to the hub or level zero. That is it for this explanation. This is a pretty interesting and very unique level, I think. And I really like how the stakes go up the further you get into this level. And I kind of like how these seven people that run the Morgana Council literally can bet memories. Like, I feel like that's so cool to me. I hope you're having a great New Year's Eve. The Brugley channel and Tugly channels are about to go crazy in 2022. Get ready for it. It's going to be awesome. Thank you for watching and supporting. And I will see you later, guys and gals.